have just hit the west end of the 90 miles straight road. Australia's longest straight road. So we've made it all the way to the border crossing from Perth heading into South Australia. We're also going to see the great Australian white, so the views are going to be stunning. here at the Great Australian Fire and only about 200 metres away from the highway you can drive up and walk right to the edge of the cliff. Not too close to the edge. So we're here in Port Lincoln, and there's pretty much one thing that you have to do when you're in Port Lincoln. And that's dive with the sharks. So today we're heading out to Neptune Island to go diving with the great white sharks. Fingers crossed we don't get eaten. Or she pushes me in. So we just came up out of the water. Oh my god. <laughs> One of the best experiences of my life. I'm still shaking. <laughs> we were super lucky we got three white pointers coming right up to the cage. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm still shaking. That was crazy. Started with one, then oh, another, and then this big one came right underneath us. Like, I wasn't scared of the sharks at all. Like, they just looked beautiful under the water. If you do come to Port Lincoln, this is the place to be. Yep, definitely. <laughs> like, babe, I'll help you with your stuff. Yep, yep. All right, let's get this leg in. Shark. Oh, shark. Sorry. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in the water, and I'm not even dressed. Yeah. I was under the water and holding on. I was like, I was touching you. I'm like, I'm here, but I'm looking at the shark. <laughs> you did it. I did it. I know. Andrew, thank you so much. No, it was a pleasure. pleasure. Thank, thank you for everything. Yeah, well, thank All you this. so much. Safe travels. Yes. So, uh, thanks for enjoying the night. Too right, easy. Thanks, Have a good one, guys. Great. Right, cheers. Yeah. So we've just headed north to the heart of South Australia to the Flinders Ranges. And we've just checked into these beautiful luxury eco villas at the Rawnsley Park Station.
best thing about Ronsley Park Station is it's got hiking, cycling, and four wheel drive tracks. While well, um, on the road, we eat plant-based. So tonight I'm gonna to be doing some grilled veggies on the barbecue. I've got mushies, some capsicum, eggplant, potatoes, my favorite. And I've got some bread and some tempeh. Gotta have a little chili bag. Let's go! So Lockie laughs at me because I travel with all my spices and all my herbs, but they are essential when you cook. Aubergine. Look at all that flavor. You won't be laughing about my herbs traveling with us. A non-stick baking tray, baking sheet, because I don't like cleaning up. So I'm just gonna put all my veggies on there. A lot of people when they cook on the road don't eat very healthy. Uh, good thing about eating plant-based is you're eating fruit and veg all day, every day. So I've just cooked up all the potatoes, sweet potato, capsicum, onion, mushrooms, and just serving it with some toasted bread. A ducker on top. Every woman. And then we have it, quick, simple veggies on the barbie. Park Station at the airstrip and we're going to fly with Chinta Air over the Flinders Ranges to see it from above. And Chinta Air offer flights from 20 minutes to all the way to full day tours. We've just finished our flight with Chinta Air over the Flinders Ranges. Oh, absolutely spectacular. An absolute must do if you're here in the Flinders Ranges. Definitely. Within walking distance of the Eco Villas is around 20 kilometers of hikes and we're gonna go do one right now. Less talking, more walking. Come on.
just woken up at the beautiful barn at the Barossa Shiraz estate in the heart of the Barossa Valley. And what a better view to wake up to than this. And today we're gonna to go check out some local wineries. We've just arrived at Sebelsford Winery in the Barossa Valley. And I haven't been to the Barossa Valley before and I'm from South Australia, so back then I didn't really drink wine. Now I'm gonna see what it's all about. I got him drinking wine now. Let's go. Bit of a hint of, I don't even know what is in wine. A hint of grape in there, babe? There's a definitely some grape. in Adelaide and we're going for a tour with Flamboyance Tours and it's the best way to see Adelaide City. St Peter's Cathedral, really great place to start. This has celebrated 150 years last year. Uh, 1869 they put the first foundation stone um, on St Peter's Day. So won't you come back, won't you be a stranger because you are a friend. The second half doesn't get completed until 1939, wow. 50 years later. So we've just finished our city tour with Flamboyance Tours and oh my god it was everything we could have wished for. We found out so much new stuff about Adelaide, yeah, the all the art, Adelaide. the history yeah. and yeah. the knowledge of Cat is just above and beyond so we can't thank, thank you, you enough. No thank worries, thanks so much, so much guys. So I haven't been back to Kangaroo Island since I was about eight years old and I can't wait to see what's changed. We're here at the beautiful False Cape Winery on Kangaroo Island. And I'm becoming a bit of a wine connoisseur now, so I'm gonna do a little bit more wine tasting. This is the good life. One thing about False Cape Winery is everything is eco-friendly, everything's recycled, the whole building is made out of recycled wood, the whole winery is off grid.
so we're here at Emu Bay. And we're gonna go swimming with the dolphins. We have just been swimming with wild dolphins here on Kangaroo Island with KI Marine Adventures and... Oh, best day of my life. Absolutely incredible. Swimming with wild dolphins. There's not many times you get chances to do that. Andrew, that was amazing. Can't thank you enough. Yes, thank One you. of the best things we've done so far. My favourite day that we've had so far, so thank you That's so much. Awesome, <laughs> pleasure guys, absolute pleasure. Cheers. When I was a little kid, we came to Kangaroo Island on holidays and we always went to Stokes Bay. And from what I can remember, you had to walk through a little cave to get to the beach. Wait, this is it. This is the cave that I can always remember. Whenever I think of Kangaroo Island, it's always the tunnel to the beach. And I can't believe I'm finally back here to show my girl. when I was a little uh... <laughs> Dunny. We're here in Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, which is in the western part of Kangaroo Island. Where unfortunately devastating bushfires ripped through 42% of Kangaroo Island in January 2020. Where you can see a year later, everything's still coming back. But it's been the local community and their resilience that's really brought everyone back together and bringing business back to Kangaroo Island.
But as you can see here, things are growing back. And the vegetation is slowly returning. And Kangaroo Island is ready to explore. So another thing you can do at Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary is the koala walk, and we've found some right now. <laughs> Look at him! That's the closest I've ever been to one. <laughs> I think there's about five to ten thousand left on the island. Ten to twenty hours a day. Wow. Um, so usually they're sleeping, they're more active at night. Yeah. So here at Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, you can get so up close and personal with wild koalas without disturbing them or stressing them out. So bright, the hope.